On Saturday, March 24, 2018, I participated in the March for Our Lives in Washington, D.C. Hundreds of thousands of men, women, young adults, and children gathered, pleaded, and demanded an end to the senseless violence plaguing our schools, churches, neighborhoods, and families for far too long. I attended because, as an American citizen, the Constitution guarantees me this right and privilege of assembly. But more importantly, as an Armenian priest, I felt a responsibility to show my presence, my revulsion of how violence, especially gun violence, has become commonplace in our country. If I remain indifferent, how genuine would I be after hearing the deacon's proclamation, again in peace, let us beseech the Lord, or of my offering of peace unto all? Now, I was not there to argue over Second Amendment rights. To me, the law of the land is the law. The spirit of the right to bear arms is a part of our constitutional system. But when you hear story after story of our fellow citizens being killed in the crossfire of random shootings or the effects of a generation of children having to endure active shooter training in their schools, the conscious mind in each of us must be awakened, must say, enough. On the Saturday of the march, listening to children relay their personal horror stories of losing loved ones. I stood there with tears in my eyes and real pain in my heart. The march was conceived by young people of Parkland, Florida, and their intention to stand for a safer, more peaceful country was commendable. As adults, looking on with the maturity of greater experience, we might come to different conclusions about how to deal with the issue of random violence in our culture. But we should not extinguish the hope in the hearts of those young people. The kind of violence we have seen lately is a part of their world, one of the problems they will inherit from us. They want to become a part of the solution, starting now. It may be that the lives of their children, years from now, will depend on the actions they take today. Life is full of choices. We do need to get the big ones right. Today is an opportunity to get it right. And yes, ultimately, that choice is yours. <laughs>